Okay, so let's solve the problem of close coupling of this test data with the test case because we, we want to separate this test data out from this test so that approach is more cleaner and we have extensibility and we can use the same test data with other test methods as well. So the approach that we are going to use that XUnit provides is a member data approach. So what that means is this particular test data rather than being inline this should come from another member of a class. So it can be within the same class or it can be in a separate class. So we'll take a look at both the approaches step by step. First, let's put this member data in the member of the same class. So I'm going to define a property here, which should be a static I enumerable object array property. And this is going to create a list. So this is essentially the same data. But what we have done is this data we have put in the list of object array. And the reason it is a list of object array is the test data is actually a test tab a data table. Okay. Reason it is a data table is because each combination of test data that we see here, username, password, expected result, they can be the columns like this can be username, this can be password, and this is expected result. Same way set second test set will be another three values, then another three values. So ultimately we need a way to represent a two-dimensional array in the form of a data structure. So what we did is we took each data item as an object array and this is another object array this is another object array so what we are talking about is we need a list of object arrays and that's why we see the declaration is list of object arrays and this is going to supply us the data member so now this is the member data in the same class which is going to be tied to the test case so what we are going to do is let's get rid of the inline data and let's figure out a way to link this member of the class with the test method so the way to do that is we use the member data attribute and to member data attribute we have to tell what is the member who is tied to this test case as the data source. Now if you look at the first parameter here it is member name and it says member name is the name of the public static member of the test class that will provide the test data. So this is the name of the member and we go and simply put it here. Great, so that is making our test look a lot cleaner and now if we go and build our solution then we will notice that all these test cases that we have here data driven tests that are showing up in this and here it is saying this is coming from the login, login test with member data.